Good morning, everybody. This is day four, wasn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I think it was kind of but yeah, Yeah, day four of our North Wales trip. You can make your tea. Okay, okay. And this morning, these two was actually watching All Engine Go for once. By, by force, by the way. Oh yeah. No, I told them to watch, to sit down, and watch it, and give it a shot. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I was already on. And, uh, yeah. So what did you guys thought of the actual, um, that one episode? Bloody cute. awful. <laughs> Some very different responses. I think cute. I think it's, I think it's sweet. I don't, I don't think, I don't know if it's Thomas or not, but it, it's, like, for what it is, it could certainly be worse. Yeah. Mm. It could be Big World Big Adventures. That's very true. Yeah, that is saying a lot. It's just like, if we are agreeing that it's more better than Big World Big Adventures, yeah, they're I mean, doing something was, right. If it was an episode of, I don't know, like, Teen Titans Go, or this, yeah. it would work. Okay? It's a good episode, but once they say, it's Thomas and Friends, went, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But then at the same time, though, you've got to think of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They was like a actual crime-fighting, down-to-earth guys, and then they got a cartoon version. And then after that, They're they gone back... Cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> you know the cartoon I'm all on about, but like I said though, I would I do like their personality though. It's like if you see James, you would understand my case. Oh, uh, anyway, speak to you soon, guys. Yeah, see you in a bit. So while we are waiting for Sam to actually get operational up with the sap nav, might as well tell you where we're going today. We're going to. Shoot, I'm gonna butcher this. Expedios Railway. Expedios Railway. To Port Malik. I did not copy everything that Sam said. Anyway, see you. Well, more likely we're gonna film the whole journey as well, more likely. See you. So here we are, it's just like we got to the car park, it's like we had to park a bit further from the actual railway station because they got like disability car park and this is their actual main car park a little bit further but the best thing is we're right in front of a railway line, it's like I think this is Welsh Highland you said Sam? Yeah. I love the fact just, just beyond this car park you can actually see the railway tracks, it's like if there was a one-way carriage, it would come into the car park. You excited? I am. Are you excited? Still waking up. Yeah, that's true. He needs food. Now let's go and find food. One thing for sure, I'm 100% excited for this. We're going to beat one of my... I, I knew I was going to forget something. But I forgot to bring my Lego models. Oh, oh well. That's fine. Maybe next year. Hello, beautiful. That's going to be our train today. It's so beautiful. Getting ready. It's getting seed up. And yeah, so since we're just crossing over, 
at the moment. I thought I might as well show off that little railway tracks on the floor. I bet you most people who watching this would know about this, but no, this is the one thing I'm actually literally fascinated about, is that this railway track is literally goes over the road. Uh, look at that. Oh, it's That's good. <laughs> Merlin! And there's some. I'm just trying to keep out the shot. I was just looking at this. You got the festinial grill, you're going to the bottom there. And all this is the Welsh Highland. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that straight away. It's just like got a, like a whole big honest map over here. Put my bag underneath. Hang on. This must be the map of the Magic Railroad. But the railroad's energy is fading. I sensed it when you were out riding. Lee and I were travelling on the ground above it. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's my answer to that. I've got to try and make a reference wherever I can. So, while this lovely engine for a different train could puff in by, here's a question for you guys at home. If this train pulls up, if we all get pulled by a double ferry, would that be a double header or a single header? And if this engine hop onto the engine that we got at front, would that be a double header or a quadruple, quadruple header? <laughs> What do you think? Could you be? Triple. Oh, well, while we're puffing off, we can just say bye bye to this engine. Baby, bye bye bye. bye, bye. Who is going off to couple up to his train? <laughs> bye bye. But look at the view, I love this. This is like you got the world down there. Aww. It's like it reminds you of like Castle Lock. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. Or, or the narrow gauge version of it. Mm. Like there's two castle with a railway that goes over the creek over the causeway. I'm already loving this already. We're wasting the cars down there. The best thing about this journey are the cows. Look at those lovely cows. I'm a woo. They're not in the moon. How dare you steal my job from me? <laughs> so I was a toddler, little, little kid, around about three or four. Uh, my parents and I, we took a trip up to North Wales. And we were driving along this causeway. And my parents and I, well, my parents and I were chatting amongst themselves. And my dad had this really strange noise. Like, he's looking around like, at the car, trying to figure out what's going on. And my mum's doing the same, you know, she's trying to figure out what's happening. And they look in the back seat, and I'm sat in the back seat. Going, and they look up, and they can see the engine running alongside us. So I was basically making the engine noises as the train was running alongside us. <laughs> Ooh, look at the view. You can tell we are high in the mountains. Never mind the mountain. Never mind the view. Watch the track. Watch the track. Watch the track. Fatty daddy. Fatty daddy. Fatty daddy. You can tell that this spot was actually based on the video swearing. The whole mountain we're we're in, but yeah. because we we've seen the Ravenglass and that's all flat hills. 
Yes, I can understand where the actual um, fuddy duddy part was. Find the track, fuddy duddy, find the track, fuddy duddy. So, just a moment ago, we just went into the tunnel, and Mr. God gave me a specific job to do now, and that is, he said, press the wet button to explode. Ah, that didn't explode. That just turned off the lights, he lied to me. <laughs> No, he actually literally just gave me the job of turning on the light for the whole train. So not only for this carriage, but it's actually for every single carriage down there. But yes, very soon we shall be going on this little part of the railway where the train will loop itself and go higher and higher. I think that might be it. We gotta loop around now. It wasn't me this just time. You, up, <laughs> you did a good job. I can just like, uh, you can just see the tracks going around the corner over there. Then it was actually, oh, yep, we're all correct because you can just see the tracks going over and the bridge. Nice building. I love the buildings. This is like uh, everything, well, of course, is Slate Railway, so of course you can see Slate buildings. And then you, and then the train will be going over the bridge, and then be puffing around that bend over there, and blah blah blah. And there's a house. Actually, getting to see the engine. Somebody's got a bloody GoPro selfie stick. Yeah, somebody got a selfie stick. He's cheating. Like you're gonna actually see all the coaches from the all the way back there. Oh, that just ends up buffers. So we was literally just down there. And the train just made a whole balloon loop. Just come up here. I love it. And there's Sam. Hey Sam. Yo. Say the line. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yay! There. I love the fact that we've just got a whole map, the whole journey. So you don't get lost. Sorry, there was an insect just there. What was it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Train! Look at the mountain! Look at the mountain! Now this is what you call a mountain railway. Hey Sam, guess what? You're stupid. Under you, Opposite day. <coughs> ha! You think you can help out me? What you doing? I'm busy. Meanwhile... Three weeks later... Ah, oh, this is amazing. So seeing the engine getting fed up with water. <coughs> yeah, so now we're back on the train. On the way back, for some reason, we are all sitting in the same seats. Well, not the same seat, but the same position, but in different carriages. And now we got back to the lake and motorcycles. Minus Sam, it's PD Booba.
literally thinking of the load of fish that I'm seeing at the moment. It's like runaway train, turn around the corner quickly, a little over and under. Right, know myself for the future. Do not leave the window. A message for the author, no, for the editor. The fact that on the train journey just down here, we actually saw a bathtub with ducks, with rubber duckies in it. This is like unbelievable. Well, not that far now because we are closer to the town centre. And it's actually quite nice to be honest. It's wearing. If Sam's actually paying attention. Yes, yeah, it is. It is. It is. I don't know why, but this station kind of reminds me of Shining Time a bit. It might be just a shaper of the station. No? It's like, you look at that station, you think it sort of kind of reminds you of Shining Time. Anyway, this goddamn thing. Oh yeah, this is the part where you're actually going on on the main line as well. It's so strange. There's actually a mainline station right next to the actual no, it ain't railway. There's the actual uh, military railway, and I think that does a balloon loop as well. To be honest, to go all the way over there. It just said quarry thing, which me, so it's just like this is where all the quarries can be like mine it. So that little yard station just there, the train will come around here and curve up to this track. Very clever. I let you have that window, I take the other one. Very nice though, Jeff. Where's the big football and stand the gate engines? We are here for Mallet. All exchange. So here we are, we just got back, well of course you've just seen all the videos of the double fairies going off, well running around the train, and now we're just going off to do our last minute shopping, because we are running low on a few things, like drink, bread, we ran out of bread last night. Yes, and then we're having bird seed as well, or walnuts, sorry. Us. Yeah, because there was a squirrel who decided to give us a visit uh, this morning, so Sam wants to give him some nuts. <laughs> hey, it's and also, I did bought some goodies from the actual from the actual gift shop, mm -hmm. a mug, and a funny little truck. And oh well, we thought we might as well go and get some things from the shop, and then after that, go back. And I've got to do my makeup. So let's go, go, go. So here we are. We are leaving Port Maddock. I'm ready bye to bye. go home. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Oh my god, those, uh, I just noticed some of the people on the train are still there. Yeah. Oh, they are definitely dead occasion. <laughs> oh, don't tell me we just missed the train leaving the platform. No, I don't think we did. 
Oh. I think it's just a case where they've... I think it's, they're from places where they won't be able to visit the Fastinio Railway any time of year, so I think they're just making the most of life. Yeah, that is true. I know the young chap, the young chap with the red jacket, he was from uh, Belgium. Oh, right, okay. So. Originally, we would we would have bought uh, the, this railway on the Monday, so we could have done a cab to, uh, shed tour. Maybe that was what the original appeal was. Maybe that's why you had it set for Monday originally. Yeah. But uh, it makes more sense to do the Vail of Rail door on uh, Monday because yes, driver train day, and it's it's which engine? Oh, yeah, 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 Luke. Luke. I know which engine, I did not know you wanted me to see it. No, I mean like for the people at home, because oh, well, yes. the Earl of Solidor, he's going to be driving Duke. Yes. Luke. Which Luke. Is, whichever. <laughs> Duke, Luke. I want to see my Duke, but I would why Luke instead? <laughs> Come on, I don't think we've got that uh, many chances. Do you think that's why he invited him to uh, the, um, uh, what's Luke on the estate? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Neil's estate. Here you go, my lord. We found him. Yes, Luke. I said Duke, not Luke. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's good, actually. I like that. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's a story idea for you. <laughs> yes, I asked for Duke, not for Luke. Why well, didn't you say so? I like did. <laughs> Jinx, make a question. I'm putting it down now. It's smudged. Say D, not L. D. <laughs> oh. I like the idea of there being a DuckTales one, where like, Duke and the Earl Reed, like, it's like, Your Honour, we present you with your fine engine, Duke. He's like, wait, Duke? No, 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 his name was supposed to be Turbo. <laughs> I could have been Turbo? I told the engineers, I wrote it down in case no one could understand them. I could have been Turbo! <laughs> <laughs> like, like Duke would actually say that. <laughs> yeah, but you know. Same sort of thing. They reunite. Oh, like... hello, train. One. Oh, yeah. I can't. There's 20 mile an hour limit here. <gasps> train. So, if we go around and around about 500 times, we might actually see the engine again. <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, 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 keep on turning. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! We're going fast! Slow down, everybody! Slow down! Don't say fucking half now! Damn it! <laughs> we never get there.